is going on YouTube and today I wanted to do my next top 10 and a video that I've actually kind of wanted to do for a while and that is the top 10 most hated programs in college football it's obviously this is subjective I'm not going to do the programs that I hate the most but these are just ones that I feel as a gen or as part of the general college football fan base uh, what I think what I feel like the most hated college football programs are the teams that people love to watch lose the most and so I'm going to do my five honorable mentions, and then my five, well, my five outside, and then my top ten list. So start with my first one on the five outside, I've got Texas A&M. So Texas A&M, uh, th this whole fact of them being hated wasn't helped by the fact that they dropped out of Texas's rivalry completely. And Texas fans love to hate Texas A&M and the other way around. And... Really, I feel like just the entire state of Texas outside of Texas A&M fans hate Texas A&M. And the fact, also the fact that they answered the SEC didn't help that at all. The whole Johnny Menzel thing didn't help that at all. Um, yeah, all those kind of combined up to being, in, for them being in the top 15 for this. My next one is Tennessee, and I chalked this up really to one thing, and that is just the amount of hype they get. People hate hearing about it. And then, I really feel like at this point, people don't even like watching them lose anymore just because how disappointing they've been over the last 10 years besides this past year. And obviously this is another season where they're going in with a ton of hype, the most hype they've been going into for a season, I believe, since 2007. So, um, again, I think this is just mainly because of how much hype goes into Tennessee and really how hated they were before this, obviously. Um, the Alabama-Tennessee rivalry, um, pretty much every fan of any school in Tennessee besides Tennessee hates Tennessee. And then every team in the SEC East, Florida fans hate them, Georgia fans hate them, all that stuff. Anyway, um, move on to my next one, which is LSU. And LSU is up here for a multitude of reasons. One, because uh, they've got some of those obnoxious fans in college football. I actually think some of the LSU traditions are pretty cool. Um, obviously, pretty much every fan in the SEC West, or SEC West hates LSU, and every fan in Louisiana outside of LSU fans. So move on to my next one. And I've got LS, or excuse me, Miami. So Miami is a team that it, it, it used to be a lot worse than it is now. Obviously, when they were winning, it was a lot worse than when they're just kind of mediocre to good like they are now. I mean, if they start winning under Mark Richt again, they might climb up the list. But they're still rivals with Florida State. If everyone, again, still everyone in Florida outside of Miami fans still hates their guts. The Miami Florida State is very still alive and real. All right, so move on to my number one on the honorable mentions, and I got Notre Dame. So Notre Dame, for me, is one of the most loved and most hated college football programs. Most of the teams up here could be mentioned that way, too, because most of these teams do have very big fan bases. But Notre Dame has fan base, or has uh, fans all over the country. Uh, they're one of the most, they're one of, one, of the, one of the biggest brand names that there is in the country. And as a whole they form rivalries with a lot of teams and that's why they are very they, they, they're loved and hated in every part of the country basically what I'm trying to get at so moving to my top 10 number 10 I've got Florida and I don't love or hate Florida but I can understand the hate for them um, it was more on more when Urban Meyer was head coach than now um, it was kinda easy to hate Tim Tebow very easy to hate Tim Tebow I could, again, I never really hated Tim Tebow, but um, there was a lot of hate for him. And as soon as Urban Meyer left, I feel like it kind of went down a little bit because as soon as Urban Meyer left, really, they started doing really, really shitty under Will Muschamp. And now the fact that they're getting better, it, was, it wasn't it was easy to hate them this past season, but it was easy to make fun of their offense because it was very stagnant. So move on to number nine, Oregon. And for me, there's a lot of reasons why... Oregon has hate. One is what I like to call, no offense if you're an Oregon fan or you like their style, but what I call the swag fag generation, where pretty much every every kid, uh, every kid outside of Oregon that likes Oregon is pretty much an Oregon fan because of the uniforms, the neon green, yellow, whatever color you want to call that. I was never much of a fan of the color or the team. I don't hate the team per se, but I can understand why people hate them. Uh, they got very good very fast. Um, Marcus Mariota was actually a very likable player. I can't argue there. I, but every quarterback before that, um, from Dennis Dixon to 
really to Jeremiah Masoli. Um, like I said, it was very easy to hate that team. All right, so move on to number eight. I've got Florida State. And this can be chalked up, really, for me to one person. That's Jameis Winston. Obviously, he's gone now, so it's gone away a little bit. They had a kind of a shitty year, which probably dropped down the list a little bit. But Jameis Winston was a big reason for this. He was very good, but he was also um, pretty stupid. So it was easy to hate them for that. My number 17 is Texas. And um, I think Texas is one of those teams where everyone's born with an opinion of them. Um, they're, just, they're just that big a program. And especially when you're born in Big 12 country or in the state of Texas, uh, you pretty much form an opinion of them pretty much immediately. And like I said, if you're, in, if you're in the Big 12 and you're not a Texas fan, you probably either don't like them or hate them. Me personally, uh, I don't really have an opinion of them. Like, uh, They're a big program. I don't really hate them. But uh, obviously Oklahoma fans don't hate one team any more than Texas. Uh, especially the way that Texas has beaten them, uh, I believe, two of the past three years now. And, um, yeah, like I said, Texas is a team that's very easy to hate. So, number six, I've got Auburn. Now, Auburn, most of the hate comes from Alabama, and that's a very, very large amount of hate. That is, to me, the biggest rivalry in college football right now, even though it kind of wasn't very entertaining this past year. But if Auburn gets back to the point of natural or national relevance like they were, really were supposed to be this year then um, I think the hate will be very very much alive again move on to number five got Oklahoma and me personally I don't hate OU I mean obviously I don't like them but uh, it is very easy to hate OU uh, obviously they're very successful very successful college football program have been for a very long time you could call them one of the greatest if not the greatest uh, college football program in history and like I said especially if you're born in Texas Oklahoma or any part of Big 12 country you don't like them if you're not an OU fan and there's a lot of other teams nationwide that don't like them either uh, Colorado Nebraska those teams uh, old Big 12 teams Mizzou as well so I think the hate stems into many parts of the country we went number four I got Ohio State and there's a lot of again when you get up into this part of the list, there's a lot of reasons why people hate them. Especially in Big Ten country, again, a lot of hate coming from pretty much every school in Ohio. And not every school, because there's actually some people that are probably Ohio State fans at some of the smaller schools. But Ohio to me, or Ohio State to me, is kind of like when you're born in the state of Ohio, you're born a Buckeye. It's kind of like when you're born in Oklahoma, you're born a Sooner. Um, there's a few other states like that. But anyway, uh, you're born in Tennessee, you're born a ball, things, things of that nature where there's one school that kind of manages the rest of the state and has for a while. And Ohio State is definitely that way. And, I mean, there are some other, like, kind of big schools, Cincinnati, Ohio, Akron. But you, you see who I'm naming here, and it's just there's not that much present in Ohio outside of Ohio State. And like I said, um between Michigan, Michigan State, every school in Ohio, Penn State, all of Big Ten country pretty much. Florida probably has quite a bit of Ohio State for, or quite a bit of hate for Ohio State as well. Um, and just people that hate Ohio State fans, which encompasses the country. Then, yeah, like I said, a lot. <laughs> um, I, again, I'm, I, I think Ohio State's good, but outside of that, I really don't have an opinion of them. So move on to number three, I got USC, and um, I think the hate's more for USC fans than the actual team, but I think it stems both ways. USC, since they've kind of dropped off, I wouldn't say national relevance, but since, you know, all the Richie Bush stuff blew over in 2010, 2011, around that time, um, they've obviously been hit hard by recruiting violations, and they've had a hard time getting them back, really getting them back on track since, uh, really since 2010. And um, obviously, it's LA bandwagon fans or something that comes with the town. And um, it, it, it is very true with USC. Um, there are very many fans of that school that, um, well, they're really only fans when they're good. And it's a frustrating thing when you lose to USC and um, those fans talk shit. But like I said, again, I'm not, I've never been a fan of a team that was rivals with USC. 
for really they got beat badly by USC, but again, I can understand the hate. Um, and it's a little bit more fun to hate them now since they're bad. But especially if you're like a UCLA, really any fan of any team in the Pac-12. Um, these teams at the top, really, there's just hate across the entire conference. So move on to number two, and I got Michigan. And this has been spurred by Jim Harbaugh, I think. So um, Michigan State fans and Ohio State fans are very happy with the way their turnouts came against Michigan this year. But Michigan fans are also extremely excited about next year and have been talking a lot of shit about that as well. And um, if you just look at really any, you talk to any Michigan fan, you look at any message board, you look at any uh, like ESPN article, Bleach Report article, anything like that, you can see Michigan fans already excited for next year and for good reason, they should be good. But again, um, this is a team at this point that a lot of people love to hate because when a blue blood kind of comes out of the water and um, comes back into national relevance after being down for a little while, then uh, their fans get very excited and uh, rival fans tend to not want to see them get good again. And then number one is kind of obvious, and it's the team that everyone loves to hate, in my opinion, the Patriots, Yankees, uh, old Lakers. I guess depends on who you're talking about in the NBA, but yeah, basically, in my opinion, like the Patriots and Yankees of college football, and that is Alabama. And um, I personally am not a huge fan of Alabama, but that's just me. I don't have anything against them. Uh, I just don't like. I don't really like seeing dynasties in any sport. That's my favorite team. I like seeing change. I like seeing teams uh, change it up. I like seeing new styles and everything like that. Um, a pretty common thing among fans, though. But I can respect the greatness that Alabama's built over the last uh, decade or so, and obviously uh, everything they did before that. Now, obviously, Alabama's hated all over the country. Pretty much, again, this is another team that everyone has an opinion of. And, um, But yes, definitely, in my opinion, the most hated team across the country. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I thought this would be a fun little video to do. Uh, stir up some people's um, emotions about college football. I know a lot of the people that are subscribed to me and follow my videos are college football fans because that's the majority of videos that I do. And yeah, like I said, I thought it'd just be a fun little video to do. If there's a team you hate, there's a team you don't like, a team you do like, a team you think that should have been more hated on my list than I, or higher up on my list than you, than I actually put them, then definitely comment below. It's something I love to hear. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yep. Yeah. What is going on YouTube? So, time for my daily top 10. Yesterday I did 